Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough going over to the Dunes Club now. Go go gates, crisscross. What's this crisscross business? Well, they're kind of like in an X formation. See how the red ones are vertical and the blue ones are horizontal? I gotta try and get through that somehow. I think this will work with a yeah a draw shot here. But if it doesn't, I'll just restart the hole. You can just pause, quit. Yeah, you know how it goes. You know how this rolls. Oh yeah, <laughs> that works just fine. And now I no 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 no. no. Uh, I want to go something like maybe there. I think will serve me best <laughs> because there's a slope and then there's the. Um, I mean, there's a, the fringe to knock down the ball speed, there's a slope to move it towards the hole. Uh, that wasn't too bad. I, I get two putt to victory, so I, I guess that's actually pretty good. But, <laughs> you know me and birdies. Ponder the pond. So this was a two-gator, but the thing about it is that, yeah, there's one actually above the pond. So you gotta set yourself up a certain way to get through that. But first, focus on the first gate, of course, because you can't win unless you get through all the gates, so just get through the gates any way that you can. In this case, I'm just gonna knock a forward right over there. And now for this one, I am going to try and get it in the rough, not the waste area, because the waste area is garbage, <laughs> but not too far, because if I go too far, I won't have a shot at the green in uh, regulation. So we'll see here, there we go. And then I hit through the gates, to the green, and with a little backspin, I should be able to control it. Oh, I missed it a little bit, so it's going to go left of target, but it should still be fine, because it's going to be on the flat spot. Eh, yeah. <laughs> That's actually pretty dang good. All on the flat spot, pin high, backtracking, let's begin. Backtracking, what is this craziness? So where, where's the gate? Well, it's it's over here by another tee box. <laughs> So what we got to do here to give us the best chance is get is it to the edge of the front tee box here and then sort of control it, I think is probably the best way. Just don't land it on the slope if you can help it. I'm trying my best not to, but that might not happen. Ah, I'm on the slope. Well, we'll see if I can pull it off anyway. And uh, I just need a... That's actually a pretty good amount of height for being on the slope. Oh, good strike. Very good strike there. So this should be perfect position. Oh, 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 shoot, 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 oh, 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 god, it's actually okay. <laughs> um, I thought it was actually gonna stay in the rough, but okay. Move it a little to the left, because of the break. A little past the mark, because of the fringe, and she goes in! <laughs> Alright, thin inner path. Oh yeah, this is the one where it's like a cone shape of really, really tiny poopers. Ideally, you want to go through all of them in one shot, but we'll see how it goes. I'm pl I played it a little bit to the right of the, the that last gate there because of the wind. Let's see if it goes through, though. Oh! <laughs> and that's why it's difficult to get them in one shot. Alright, but I, I should be able to recover from this, actually. I just need to kind of shimmy myself over right like into the rough here somewhere, I guess and then get it up and down. Uh, yeah, that looks safe enough. Oh shoot, well, top spin it through! <laughs> go, 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 there we go! <laughs> My tiniest shot ever! Well, at least from this far away from the green. Um, I'd like to curve it, yeah, around that away somehow. Because I think that's going to give me the best angle of approach to the green. And I'm not putting any backspin on this because I can tell it's, it's going to go pretty high. So, I'm just gonna kind of let it roll out a little bit. There we go. How do you like that? <laughs> so, as you can tell, you can you can recover from some of these if you should mess up on your first shot. So, don't give up. Just see how it goes. Oh, odd gate out. This one is... This one is something. You got this one way over here on a par 4. Yeah, um... Good luck with that. <laughs> Okay, it's not that difficult. It's just a matter of shot making. Uh, so in this case, I'm hitting from one tee box to what is kind of like another tee box, and it just you know just plop it right over there. 
and then I'll hit over to this tee box. I mean, not tee box. This part of the fairway here. Uh, based on the angle of that one up there, I'm gonna hit this one as far as I can and give a little right to left magic. So I'll be able to get it in the best of positions. Hopefully, I miss hit that one, but I might be able to get away with it. We'll see. Um, yeah, that's good. And I'll just hit through this gate to the green, and hopefully I'll be able to stop it, because I got a bad lie here, and it's a long shot. I'm using a forward, and regular backspin I think will do just fine. I think I'll be able to stop it because there's enough running room, but uh, we'll see here. Yeah, look at that. See that? It goes right up to the top tier. What was I worried about? <laughs> And I didn't move the cursor at all, of course, because it's a flat spot, so... Completed! Let's do the Hokey Pokey. And... Yeah, they're all they're all around. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Uh, this one is actually the hardest one of all, because these gates are small. And, well, good thing there's no wind or anything like that here, but the thing about it is that there's, you, there's a positioning issue, in that you're hitting from one gate to the other from the end of one other gate. Like, you can't curve into two gates at once. It just doesn't really happen that way, so you gotta put yourself in good position for that. I'm gonna make myself curve around thusly so I get a little bit closer to the other gates, and that should give me the best chance of it. I'm not, I don't really care about that mount, it's just gonna bounce off it. Uh, yeah, let's just see if this is good. Uh, okay, I'm good. I got the sparkles. <laughs> Whenever you hear that sparkle sound, sparkly sound, you know you're through the gates. Besides the sparklies on the, uh, uh, you know, gate over overhead version, I mean overhead view, excuse me. Uh, this is a really high shot, as you could tell, because I was partly on that mound. But, I can use that downslope to my advantage there, to move it out a little bit. You know, the downslope on the green, and then one putt for par. <laughs> and there we go! Now, here's where things get ugly. The Lynx Club. Yes, the Lynx Club. Fairway Fringe. This one, you gotta hit far, far over the green. To that gate over there. There's no wind on the Lynx! What? What? What is this blasphemy? I think I can just bounce the ball through it without actually having to hear the shininess. You know, they have a little topspin here. Obviously, don't go too far, though, because there's worse rough, there is out-of-bounds junk. <laughs> so, just put yourself in the rough or something, and then put yourself on the green, and hopefully one putt. In this case, it should be an easy one putt, because the pin is in an easy location, where all that flat stuff is. I'm just gonna let it run out. No spin at all, there we go. And there we go, there's another one down. I'm just making short work of these, aren't I? Uh, I assure you they're harder than how I'm making them, but it sure doesn't seem like it, does it? <laughs> um, this one, though, I think I'm gonna have to hit to, like further away from the gates so I can actually hit over the trees on the next shot. So I'm gonna also keep it back with backspin, if at all possible. If it goes in the heavy rough, I'll just restart, but I don't, nah, I don't think that'll be a factor. Alright, so now I hit through both gates, somewhere, I don't know where this one's gonna be the best spot. Uh, yeah, that looks good actually. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know, really. Uh, I'll, I'll try it, and see how it turns out. It might, oh, it didn't nick the trees, I was gonna say it might nick them, but it didn't. So this is gonna turn out very nice. Again, I'm trivializing what's incredibly difficult, actually. <laughs> Just. I don't know, everything's just going really well for me in these parts of the go-go gates. And... I'm just gonna let this one run out up the hill. There we go. So wait, actually, stop, 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 okay. Uh, do I... I don't think I have to move the cursor, I'm just gonna trust it. And it goes in. <laughs> there we go. Um, slim pickings, namely because it's, it's got sideways gates. But you can kind of circumvent that a little bit by hitting into them with a draw or a fade, whatever direction that you need to hit them into. I actually, th I think these would be both draws, but let's just see if I can get through one of them in one shot. If not, I'll restart. 
just about giving yourself the best opportunity in each run. But uh, it doesn't seem to be necessary. Got the kick from the mound there. That, that'll help a little bit, because it'll put me on the other side of this one. Um, I think I'll actually hit myself in the bunker or something. Uh, <laughs> like, it, this is a really tight location. Uh, so let's... Uh, well, maybe I can get away with hitting on the green, but not not really... that. It's not really going to be a perfect shot like if I was aiming to the green normally. Well, I should say a good shot if I was aiming to the green normally. It's going to be a long putt. But a two putt is probably better than a chip in a putt. So... I moved it, I think I moved it a smidge to the right. I think I seen it move there. Yeah, though, I, oh, maybe I didn't, I don't know, but it went in. That's all that matters. <laughs> Back door. Oh, yeah, this is a treacherous one. Look at that. <laughs> As you can see, um, the gate is right in front of the slopes that lead to the water. And if you get in the water, you might as well restart. But... <laughs> We'll see how this turns out here. Whoops, miss it. Well, I don't need it on the uh, to my approach on the green anyway. You know the power shot. So, uh, no Heath though. Heath would be doom. Um, okay, so I just want to just want to nudge it through the gate if at all possible, like just a little bit. And but, did that just lag a little bit? Because I hit that under the mark. Uh, well, hopefully it'll go through. Go forward, go forward, yeah, there we go. Okay. Two putt for the victory. Um, I'm gonna try one putting it though, as is my nature. I'm gonna move it a, a little bit, I'm just a little bit to the left. Because I think the front slope is gonna be negated by the speed and it's mostly the second slope. Yeah, that's what I thought. So the front slope slopes left to right, but the other one, I mean, uh, it, well, yeah, but it, I mean, it's, excuse me, they both slope the same way but it's not going to affect it as much because the speed is different at both points. Goofy Gates! <laughs> this one is really nasty because you've got to, got to deal with water and all sorts of junk while trying to get through these gates. Uh, preferably, preferably, I'd like to hit in that rough over there because it's the safest shot, but not the, the heavy rough or anything like that. That might be overhit. But since it's a par 5, I might be able to get away with it. No, 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 no. It'd go in the heavy rough. But I mean, if I end up in the heavy rough, I might be able to get away with it because it's a longer hole. Uh, or I should say they expect more shots to get on the green in par. And I'm pretty good with positioning, so... I'm going to try to avoid the fast fairway here so I don't get in more trouble. And see how that goes. Uh, yeah, there we go. I'll uh, aim the last shot through the last gates, somehow, and maybe get it on the green. I know that's going to go through the gate, but will it Will it clear the tree, and will it land on the green? That is debatable. <laughs> We're going to see here. Okay, I went through the gate, so I can pr probably recover from whatever happens up here. Uh, yeah, the wind carried it pretty far. Okay, that's workable. Two putt for the power I need to win, or, oops, I need to switch, yeah, the short putt is not nearly enough for my needs here because it's so far uphill, and, oh, missed, I played too much break, that's interesting, I thought that those bigger arrows were gonna, were gonna play a bigger part on that, but, eh, well, it doesn't matter, I still beat it, <laughs> and there we go, tricky fairways is the final one, it's not really that tricky, it just all has to do with your drive, uh, definitely curve it in whatever way you're comfortable with, left to right or right to left, depending on how you need to get through the gates or something like that, but, uh, well, actually, it looks better left to right based on that gate angle there, so I'm gonna just barely get it over the water there, and, uh, that, that might work out, let's see, I think it, it might, no, okay, it's good, I was gonna say, it might miss the gate target area because I missed it, the... Uh, thing a little bit left of it, but no, that's okay. Um, now it's just a matter of getting me on the top flat area. So I'm gonna try and hit into the bottom slope to slow it down, and then a little bit of backspin. Not super backspin, that could be a little, little hazardous. <laughs> there we go. Nice and safe. And let's finish it. 
<laughs> yeah, it's, so far I've had a flawless victory on everything. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I continue my Go Go Gates excursion!